So coffee first, and then beer. No, coffee first, and then coffee and beer, and then beer. And then maybe coffee, and then... Don't forget the grilled cheese. Welcome back to the Happy Hour Guys, and welcome to Astoria Queens and the Queens Kickshaw. We are the Happy Hour Guys. I'm Jimmy Ludwig. I'm Mark Aldrich. What is a kickshaw? I don't know. I know what a rickshaw is. Apparently there's a queen of the kickshaw. Let's go find them out. Okay. Cool. And yes, this is... I think we made this, didn't you? Mm, ben Sandler. I grew up in, in uh, Long Island City, and my wife and I moved to a story about three years ago. And I wish my wife would arrive in, in about 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, say something smart and funny, quick. Um, the Queen's Kickshaw is a really fun place in Astoria. We have a winner. <laughs> Where can people find you on the Twitter webs? Of course, our uh, website. And we interact primarily with people through Facebook and Twitter. Facebook.com slash the Queen's Kickshaw and Twitter.com slash Queen's Kickshaw. I know what a rickshaw is, but what's a kickshaw? Well, first of all, a kickshaw is a small bite to eat. It's a little delicacy, something uh, dainty. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually a, a folk etymology from the word quelque chose in French, and then as it, you know, traveled into the English language, it became quelque chose, kickshaws, kickshaw. I never knew that. I didn't know what I knew. You learn something new every day. A kickshaw is a small bite to eat. But the, Yes, but the reason that I came up with that is I looked for the word kickshaw because it rhymed with rickshaw, because originally we wanted to, and we might still put a coffee on a rickshaw and drive it around. Tell us a little bit about Queen's Kickshaw. What was the inspiration of, about opening this place? What made you decide to go for it? It was a process. It started off with uh, wanting to have a great coffee shop in the neighborhood. But then how soon did Craft Beer come on board? Uh, as soon as we figured out that we were going to have to stay open later and I don't think the coffee was going to sell into the night. It's really just a matter of, of you, making use of all the hours of the day, I think. Oh, and I wanted to say congratulations because our friends over at Wiley Vistoria just uh, selected you as the best new restaurant of of the year. It was actually not why I leave a story. It was uh, it was a poll that you know put out to the general public. Oh, well, they're the ones that told us about it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like there's a there's a craft involved in the choices that you have on. Is that true? There's definitely something very specific going on in my mind when I choose the beers on top. There's there's only four. Actually, originally there were five beers, and because we're a coffee shop and because we decided that we wanted to put uh, our cold brewed coffee on tap through our draft beer lines, uh, I actually gave up one of the beer lines for coffee. Cold brewed coffee, on, which is one of the, it's the best way to brew coffee, isn't that right? Co well, there's, uh, you, one of the best ways. One of, it depends on who you ask. I feel like I'm actually having my first sip of coffee ever. It really tastes like something, it's like coffee beyond, coffee plus. Guess, guess my next question, you ready? Go. It, it must be something about kombucha ale. <gasps> oh my god! You're amazing. Yes. So, uh, how did he do that? I don't know. It's a mystery. It really is. It must have something to do with the kombucha ale. It's a fermented tea beverage. So basically, you ferment tea with a, a uh, symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, and you get a, a kind of sweet and sour, delicious beverage, which has a lot of very helpful aspects to it. The kombucha ale is brewed right here in Queens. In fact, it's brewed right here in Astoria, one block away from us, by Beyond Kombucha, which is a the first uh, federally and state licensed kombucha brewery on the East Coast. Good and good for you. And they have it on draft here at Queen's Kickshaw. I'm going to try some. Well, yeah. You have a focus on grilled cheeses, uh -huh. but they're very carefully chosen, and they reflect the community in which you are. Sure. I mean, it's a, it's a very small menu of grilled cheese sandwiches. The ingredients uh, sort of offer a gentle nod to the uh, diversity of cuisine that's here in Astoria. Like I said, it's a really small menu, so uh, I, I usually just tell people whatever pops out of the page at you first is what you should go with. The one that I relate to the most is uh, the Gruyere sandwich, uh, which has uh, pickled and caramelized onions with stone ground mustard on rye. Uh, and that reminds me of a sandwich that uh, my stepfather used to make for me as a kid, which was an open-faced sandwich on rye with Swiss and uh, his homemade sauerkraut. So I, I was just going to say, if that doesn't make you want to come in and try some of the food here when you hear the family connections, I don't know what will. Yep, suffice it to say, the Queen's Kickshaw has just about everything we look for in an awesome place. Oh, did we mention they have these great live music nights? Check them out on the interwebs for more info. This place is heavenly. Whether it's a couple steps from your place in Astoria or a couple hundred miles from your place in Cleveland, 
you should come here to Queen's Kickshaw and give this place a try. There is love in every dish, in every glass, and around every corner of this place, this wonderful little recovered piece of this neighborhood that Ben and Jen have made possible. Thank you so much for being with us here on The Happy Hour, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It's been <laughs> wonderful. We'll see you at Queen's Kickshaw. Cheers. Cheers. Cheerianas. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about this later? I know, right? Okay. Is it rolling? Yes, we're rolling. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, good. We got those gems. <laughs>